Carol Colburn says, my marriage to a Filipino didn't work because of the double standard and his flagrant infidelity. By, but by that time, all the Filipinos, the good ones, were taken. Of course, I could have waited for a new crop of widowers, but why wait? I married a good American male at 59. Actually, you know, uh, as Carol says, I have met and counseled many women in similar situations. Kung okay lang, kung kaya lang, they would marry a fellow Filipino. Kaya lang, uh, mahirap eh, lalo na if the children are involved. Because Filipinos do not naturally take to an actual second marriage. They take to querida, they take to girlfriend lang, but to actually marry a second wife is something that the Filipina uh, family, so the children, the mother-in-law, etc., do not take to right away. So we come to the last part of our episode, which is the sum up. Many of you, when I asked this question, said, you know, love and intimacy it what, is what matters most, not ethnicity. And I agree 100%. Pero kayo naman eh, the question discussed is what about Filipinos makes them so attractive? You know, so given that generalizations are always dangerous, we know that. Given that there are exceptions, etc., etc., we still want to know what makes Filipinas more attracted to Filipinos and what makes Filipinos more attracted to their fellow Pinays, no? And I thank all of you who emailed and who Facebooked and gave me the reasons. So with that in mind, let me give you just one tip about you know, how to make marriage work or why it would be best to marry someone of your own race, nationality, and country, okay? And that is, um, it is good to marry someone with whom you don't have to explain what is going on because he has the same uh, heritage, the same cultural uh, unconscious, as Jung would say, as you do, then there are so many things you don't have to explain. That way, if you are someone who feels this is important, don't have to explain things, kaagad nagegets niya, then by all means, go for a fellow Filipino. You have heard all the reasons, you know. If you marry a Pinoy, you don't have to adjust about your favorite food. You don't have to be banished outside the house, you know, in the yard naman, but outside the house, to cook tuyo, bagoong, daing. You don't have to super explain if your family or friends come over and you're taking them in even though you have no more space so they have to sleep in the living room and if it's, it's your parents that come over usually as Filipinos like to give them the best room even if that means it's the master bedroom where you and your husband usually sleep what a Filipino would do if it's their parents or their favorite aunt or the one who supported them through school is to let their parents or primary caregiver sleep in their room and she na lang and her foreign husband or he na lang and his foreign wife will sleep in the living room. I don't think you can get many foreigners to find this uh, super acceptable, okay? Also, you can speak as eloquently and passionately in your native language, especially when you're arguing or when you're making love. Isn't it much, much better to say, um, you know, uh, instead of, I love you, right? And finally, hindi ka nga na nosebleed sa English. You can be really powerful, as I say, not only when making love, when, but when actually having sex, you know, raunchy language, etc. Mas, ma, mas malakas ang dating. As um, somebody once said, you know, English titillates the mind, but Filipino hits the gut. And, you know, if you make love, I mean, I certainly don't want my mind to be titillated only, although I could do with that. It's nice to have my gut hit too. Okay? Now, marriage is not only about big issues like existential angst and the geopolitical realities of having China so close to us. Marriage also needs to make life easier for the spouses at many levels. And if that is better with a fellow Filipino, then why not, eh? 
Next week, we will dis be discussing your first loves. Does it really never die? Do you have any questions about first love? Do you have any lingering feelings, any uh, feelings or emotions that you'd like explained despite being happily married? So that is for next week. Now, the following week, we will discuss what happens to those who re-meet their first love after many years. How intimate do you allow yourselves to be? And what are the factors that make you more intimate with one first love than with someone else who obviously is not your first love, okay? Now, please tweet if you have any comments or questions about the two above issues. Uh, tweet with the hashtag AskMargie, send us a message on Facebook, or email us at AskMargie at Rappler.com. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> <laughs>